from the other day or last week we were working escapes all right we'll work now escapes and stand-ups from half guard all right so we'll first start with an easier position to work with and then we'll work from some tight spots okay so let's say I get to choose my starting position from half guard all right I would want to be right here okay where I have a knee shield or a knee frame okay I could have it closed like I did here I could also just have it open that's fine my arms also have frames one hand on the collar here with the forearm elbow going across the neck under the chin my other hand behind the tricep elbow in front of his forearm okay so like this this hand is out of the picture okay he's not going to be throwing good strikes there because i'm controlling that arm at the shoulder and at the tricep okay additionally if you had the wrist control this is fine too okay but that could be a little harder sometimes especially if he's like trying to punch around but here it's easy to block okay and this hand if he starts throwing strikes from there i could pick up my knee if i need to okay but right here would be my starting position my basic stand up from here would come up working this way all right so what's going to happen i'm going to dig for an underhook boom okay and i want underhook not waist okay so i'm on the shoulder my head's going to stay by his head the whole time just like we did from side control i'm either head to head or if i can't get head to head head under his chin this protects me for the guillotine or the headlock. He tries to headlock me here. It's tricky, all right? He can't really do it if I'm under his head, okay? Or head to head is also fine, all right? I'll, I'll let go of this frame, post on an elbow, and now I got my knee frame here that's gonna help me scoop my hip out to get that leg out. Now, once I'm here, I can start standing up. Again, depending on how much resistance he gives me, I might be able to get the front headlock here. If he keeps standing up, right? That's fine. I'll come up with a underhook. Boom. You can look to blast takedowns right off the get up. So again, ideal positioning for half guard, okay? This knee shield is also giving me the space to dig an easy underhook, okay? If I was just here like this, now he could collapse that elbow or he's probably going to be digging it himself. Harder to get in here. But by being in here, essentially I'm just getting my knee my arm rather right under over my knee under hook I could go to wrist control at this point head to head all right back up my hips a little bit start working my leg out post boom okay again ideally for me I want to try to run the takedown here like I could start doing a knee block right there if he's sleeping all right again this leg here is giving me space it's also preventing him from crowding me if I wasn't here, even if I had the underhook, he could start pushing into me and put me flat again. That knee shield here, he starts pushing into me, all right? And it actually helps me stand up, all right? Because he's giving me something to push against, all right? When possible, as I'm coming up, if I can get to a hand here, far back, it's gonna make it easier to pull that leg out. If I stay on an elbow, I could do it, but it makes it trickier to have less space to navigate. Here, now I got more space. Okay. Any questions? Let's do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Oops. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.